Hello fans, welcome to Vico TV, home for accurate information and reliable data. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so. And please press the notification button to get new videos when they are released. And please do not forget to invite friends to like our YouTube channel too. And please, it would be wise to drop your com your comments on the comment section to see your view about this video we are going to be posting. So, let's dig into Bola Ahmed Tinubu, our topic for today. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the Nigeria Canton General, a politician who has been national leader of the All Progressive Congress since the party's formation in 2013. He's he has previously served as the governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007 and is senator for Lagos State during the brief state republic. In January 2002, he announced his intention to run for the APC nomination for President of Nigeria in the 2023 presidential election. Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu was the 12th governor of Lagos State. As a governor in Lagos State, his tenure ranks from 29th of May 1999 to 29th of May 2007. His deputy were Kofa Wale Beknon and Femi Pedro, preceded by Umba Mawa and succeeded by Bobatude Fashola. As a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria of the Lagos West Senatorial District, his, his term of office was September 5th, 1992 to 17th of November, 1993. Personal details, he was born on the 29th of March 1952. Political party presently is a member of the All Progressive Congress. Other political affiliation, it was a member of the Social Political Party from the period of 1992 to 1993. It was also a member of the Alliance for Democracy 1998 to 2006. He's also, he was also a member of the Action Congress of Nigeria from 2006 to 2003 when coalition of Action Congress of Nigeria formed the All Progressive Party. His wife, Olaremi Tinibu, occupation is an accountant and a politician. After spending his early life in southwest Nigeria, Tinibu studied accounting in the United States before working abroad several years returned to Nigeria in the mid-1980s and continued to work in a financial management before entering politics as a successful Lagos West senatorial candidate in 1992 under the banner of the Social Democratic Party. After the dictator Sani Abasha dissolved the Senate in 1993, Tinubu became the activist campaigning for the return of democracy as part of the National Democratic Election Movement. Although he was forced into exile in 1994, Tinubu returned after Abasha's death in 1998 and started triggering the transition of the Fourth Republic. In the first post-transition legal state gubernatorial election, Tinubu won by a wide margin as member of the Alliance for Democracy over the People's Democratic Party, Dambu Saramu, and all the People's Party, Nasrallah Du Kekeru Eku. Four years later, he won re-election to a second term over the People's Fashion Williams by Regis Manchin. Tinibu's two terms were marked by attempts at modernizing the city of Lagos. He feared with the PTP-controlled federal government election. After leaving the office in 2007, Tinibu retained his status as one of Nigeria's most influential politicians as this alliance often fed our office throughout the west, southwest, and it played a key role in the formation of the All Progressive Congress in 2013. Long controversial, Tinubu's career has been plugged by accusations of corruption and questions about the veracity of his personal history. Early life, Tinubu was born on the 28th of March, 1952 in Osun State, Nigeria. His mother, Abibatu Mogaji, 
was a trader that later became the Ajul Ayeloja of the Lagos State. Education. He attended St. John's Primary School, Ariloya, Lagos, and the Children's Home School in Ibadan, southwest of Nigeria. Tinubu then went to the United States in 1975, where he studied first at Richard J. Dillon College in Chicago, Illinois, and then at Chicago State University. He graduated in 1979 with a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting. Early career, Tinubu worked for the American companies Octo, Adansi, Teleto, and Askins and Sir and GTE Service Corporation. After returning to Nigeria in 1983, Bola Ahmed Tinubu joined Mobi Oye, Nigeria, and later became an executive of the company. Early political career, his political career began in 1992 when he joined the Social Democratic Party, where he was a member of the People's Front faction, led by Sheung Musa Yaradwa, a made up of other politicians such as Umaru Musa Yaradwa, Atiku Abubaka, Baba Gana Gadido, Abdullahi Sheung Samali, and many others. He was elected to the Senate representing the Lagos Swift constituency in the short-lived Nigeria Third Republic. After the results of the 12 June 1993 presidential election were annulled, Tinubu became a founding member of the Pro-Democracy National Democratic Coalition, a group which mobilized support for the restoration of democracy and recognition of Moshu Dabiola as the winner of the 12th June election. Following the seizure of power as military head of state by General Sania Basha, he went into exile in 1994 and returned to the country in 1998 after the death of the military dictator, which ushered in the Fourth Nigeria Republic. In the run-up to the 1999 election, Bola Tinubu was prestige of the Alliance for Democracy. He went on to win the AD primaries for the Lagos State Governorship election in the 15th Fashu William and Waya Abdasunu, a former minister of Fox and Arsene. In January 1999, he stood for the position of governor of Lagos State on the AD ticket and was elected governor. Please, friends, if you are seeing this video useful, please do not forget to press on the notification button as we earlier suggested and please drop your comment on the comment section. And we will just be back. Please, fans, before we move ahead, do not forget to press the notification button and also please subscribe to our YouTube channel before we move ahead. And also, like we suggested earlier, do not fail to invite friends to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to promote the page. Going back to Bola Ame Tinibu career, as a governor of Lagos State, when he assumed office in May 1999, Tinibu promised 10,000 asking units for the poor with plenty of shield. During the eight year period of his being in office, he made large investment in education in the state and also reduced the number of schools in the state by returning many schools to the already settled former owners. He also initiated a new road construction required to meet the needs of the fast growing population of the Lagos State. Tinubu, alongside the new deputy governor, Femi Kedro, won re election into office as governor in April 2013. All other states in the southwest fell to the People's Democratic Party in those elections. He was involved in the struggle with Olusegun Obasanjo controlled federal governments over whether Lagos had the right to create new local government council development areas to meet the needs of its large population. This controversy led to the federal government seizing funds made for local councils in the state. During the later part of his term in office, he was engaged in continuous clash with PDP powers such as Adesini Ogul, Larry, and former Lagos State Senator who became Minister of Fox, Bode George, and the Southwest Chairman of the PDP. Relationships between Tinubu and Deputy Governor Femi Pedro became increasingly tense 
after Pedro declared his intention to run for the gubernatorial election. Pedro competed to become the AC candidate for governor in 2007 election, but withdrew his name on the eve of the party nomination. He defeated to the Labour Party while still keeping his position as deputy governor. Tinubu's tenure as legal state governor ended on May 29, 2007, when his successor of Babatunde Pachala of the Action Congress took office. On the issue of corruption, in April 2007, after the elections, before, being, before Babatunde Pachala had taken office, the federal government brought Tinubu before the Code of Conduct Bureau for trial over the alleged illegal operation of sixteen separate foreign accounts. In January 2009, the Economic and Financial Crown Commission declared Babatunde and Governor James Ibori of Delta State, Ibon Victor Akta of Aqua Ibon, of charges of conspiracy, money laundry, abuse of office, official corruption in relation to C of B Mobile Network in 2007. In March 2009, there were reports that a plot had been identified to kick Tinubu. In the Alliance for Democracy called on the Inspector General of Police, Mike Okiru, to conduct a thorough investigation. In September 2009, however, there were reports that the British Metropolitan Force Police were investigating a transaction in which the Lagos state government made an investment in Econet, na Excel. Tinubu said the transaction was straightforward and profitable to the state with no achievement diaries involved. The federal government rejects a request by the British to release evidence needed to further investigate and prosecute the three Nigeria ex government in Lagos courts. Tinubu has been widely perceived as the godfather of Lagos, leveraging his political capital in the mega state to influence regional and national affairs. His is in pulling the strings of the mega city was exposed in the Lion of Badolia, a 2015 documentary film highlighting Tinubu's political and financial group on the city state. Although Tinubu fired a 150 billion naira labor suit against the producer AIT, and the, and the documentary stopped airing on the 6th March of 2015. Nevertheless, assisted in such as ease of barbarianness on the successor. Such as on December 29, 2009, when there was a report that Fashola and Tinubu had fallen out over the issue of Fashola to election in 2011, with Tinubu preferring the Commission of Environment News Banari and a similar scope in 2015 over the Fashola success of pitting Tinubu against him, who threw his food with behind Akinu Abode, who later succeeded Fashola. And was in himself single handedly hosted out of office by Tinubu replacing him with Babaji De Sowole. All goes to show his unprecedented influence in the city state. During the 2019 election, a bowling van was seen entering Tinubu's residence on Bodilion Road in Ikogi, with Tinubu claiming, I keep money anywhere I want. His life as a politician in 2007, following the landslide victory of the People's Democratic Party in the April 2007 election, Tinubu was active in negotiation to bring together the fragment opposition party into a mega party capable of challenging the People's Democratic Party. In February 2003, 2013, Tinubu's negotiation in creating a mega opposition party became paid off with the mega with the major of Nigeria's three biggest opposition parties, the Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, the Congress of Progressive Change, CPC, and the All Nigeria People's Party, AMPP. A faction of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Afghan, and the new PDP, NPDP, a faction of serving governors of 
the then ruling People's Democratic Party into the progr- into the All Progressive Congress (APC). In 2014, Tinubu supported former military head of state General Muhammadu Buhari, leader of the CPC faction of the APC, who commanded widespread following the Northern Nigerian. And are previously contested in 2003, 2007, and 2011 presidential elections as the APC presidential candidate. Tinubu initially wanted to become very vice presidential candidate, but later considered for Yemi Osibajo, his ally and former commissioner of justice. In 2015, Wari ruled for the APC to victory, ending the 16 year. Rule of the ending the 16 year rule of the PDP, marking the first time in the history of Nigeria that an incumbent president lost to an opposition candidate. Tinubu has gone on to play an important role in the Buhari administration, supporting government policies, holding onto internal party reins in lieu of his long aired rumored presidential aspiration. In 2019, he supported Buhari's re-election campaign, defeating the PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. In 2020, following an internal party crisis, which led to the removal of Tinibu Ali and party chairman Adam from Tumode, it is believed that the move was to subtle Tinibu's presidential prospect ahead of 2023. 2023 presidential ambition. On January 10, 2022, Tinubu announced his intention to run for the president of Nigeria in succeeding President Buhari. This was the common form of announcement for him. Shifting title Tinubu owes both the shifting of the Asiwajo of Lagos and the Jagaban of Bagun, Kingdom of Niger, Delta, Niger State, Nigeria. Personal life. Tinubu is a Muslim. He is married to Oloremi Tinubu, the current senator of the Lagos Central Senatorial District. His nephew, Adewale Tinubu, is the CEO of Rwanda. Tinubu's mother, Abibatu Magaji, died on 15 June 2014 at the age of 96. On the 31st October 2017, his son, Jay Tinubu, had a heart attack while in London. I was better for ten days. These are a few facts about Tinibu, the Jagaban of Le- of Niger State, the Asijowu of Lagos State. Please, if you find this information interesting and appealing, please do well to like and subscribe to our YouTube.